Use PNG like a pro for editing, but what is PNG? It's the name of a file extension that is short for Portable Network Graphics. Yes, it's called Portable Network Graphics. Originally, people used to use GIF image up until PNG was introduced to the world. And to date, people still use GIF to some extent, but in combination with PNG, which is like a better format of the two files. You have to make sure that you're saving a PNG whenever selecting a file from the internet. Hi, what's up? This is the Tech Girl 007 here teaching you all about the tech, whether they're tech issues, reviews, tutorials, unboxing, and much more. And that all in one, right here on this channel. The format in which the image is being saved is not anything other than PNG. And here you can see the two same images that I'm using. However, with two different file extensions and the funny thing is that they are both identical. Yet, each has a different extension, with one being PNG and the other a web extension. So how do you avoid that? If you like an image from the internet and that you're sure that it's a PNG and not any other file format such as JPEG or WAV file, but then you are saving it and it's not what you're expecting it to be. So in here I have used two different browsers such as Google Chrome and Internet Explorer with the same image being searched. However, the output of both files, and now in here, I'd like to call them files and not images. It's because then it would mean that I'm referring to a JPEG. Now back to where we're at. If the output of your file is not as expected, then try to use different browsers such as Google Chrome, Safari, or even Firefox. For instance, in here, I like this anime and I wanted to save it to my computer as a PNG. However, because I was using Chrome, it didn't allow me to save it as PNG for that particular file. So then I went ahead and used Internet Explorer and it worked perfectly fine. Nevertheless, that doesn't mean that for every file to be able to save it as a PNG, you're ought to use a different browser. I always use Chrome as my default browser, but for some odd reason, I switch over here and there to get the best result for my work that I'm intending to do. And oh my God, it looks like I'm writing an essay about this PNG. Now let's look at this in practice and then let's go on to my editor and see how this looks when we all try to open both of these files. So here we go, I've got a timeline in here. So I'm using Filmora 9 in here. That's the editor that I'm using that I currently edit my videos with. So I'm gonna put this video on the background. I'm just going to mute it. And then I'm going to try to bring the anime in here so I think I was in PNG and then right so in here it's only allowing me to bring only one file but if I say all files it's got both of them in here now if I right click and say maybe view and details you can see that one of them is PNG and the other one is a web page so first of all, let's try to open the web page. Okay, and try to bring it in here. Okay, right, so I'm going to name this one Chrome. So this means that we have brought this one from Chrome. And then I'm going to delete this for now. I'm going to bring this back in here. So as you can see that this is now working. However, if you try to bring the PNG in here, it should also work. So the same goes for this one and the other one. Although we have seen that in both cases that the files are editable, but a still web page file format was not recognized by the editing software unless you had to specifically select all the options from the drop down menu. And the whole point of this video is to make PNG easier to get recognized by the editor so that it's not hard to find and also believe it or not, not many editing software will allow a web page to be opened for it to be edited. For example, Sony Vegas. So let's see this in Sony Vegas.
right okay so we've got the timeline in here and let's open those two files so if i just say open all right so we've got it in here so we've got the web page as well as the png i'm gonna try to open one at a time right so it's already brought it up in here let's go on it to see what's happening to this right and then let's open the other one So this is the PNG. So this is the PNG and this one is the web page. So what is the issue with this file? So as you can see with the PNG, it's nice and clean and it could be edited anyhow you like. Whereas with the web page, it brings you some kind of a background issue. So, so the whole point of the PNG file is to have an object but without the background showing on the screen. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that I helped you in some ways. If you're a new viewer, I would love to have you on here and hope that you subscribe and press on that bell icon. However, if you are a returning subscriber, please share the word by liking and sharing this video. Oh, and by the way, I do have some videos on the description box of this video and all of my playlists listed are there as well. Take care.